This video goes over 3CX web conferencing right here from our web client. If you have 3CX installed, if you don't know where your web client is, just right click your extension up here and say launch 3CX web client. Come over to meet and now we can actually join our meeting. Uh, this is a quick meeting, but if you wanted to schedule a meeting, you can actually use the little schedule uh, plus up here. And you can fill all this in, add participants, send through email, Outlook online, Google, you name it. It's all right here. But for today, we're just going to go ahead and cancel this and just do a regular meet. So we'll come into here and say, I want to do this meeting right now. From this, we've actually joined the conference. On initial launch, it'll say, hey, tell people this URL. We'll copy this, and I'm just going to email it to myself. And then I'm going to pull up my phone on the right hand side here. So my phone's over here. This is actually just screencasts and I'm going to select this and it's going to say, Hey, do you want to join this conference? I'll say, yes, let's join and join now. And this should have me pull up and you can see right here is me on the cell phone. So you can actually pull up, but that's not where this ends. You can add other people. You can actually use your cell phone as your webcam on here as well if you don't have a webcam. So in a pinch, you can always get 3CX web conferencing going. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off just because it can get a little bit uh, tricky when you have multiple instances. I don't wanna confuse anybody. You can also present, like let's say I wanted to present my desktop to my cell phone here or any participant in this. I would go ahead and say present and you can say a document, a chalkboard. I mean, hey, the sky is the limit here. So here's the chalkboard and we can draw on it. We can just say three CX and then <laughs> whatever you want right here. Very good for team building, especially if you're assembling a lot of people because this conferencing, even on the basic plan, is at up to 25 participants. And on the enterprise plan, it, it goes all the way up to, I think, 250 participants where you definitely would want just presentation skills and muting folks. So you have this chalkboard and you can also present your screen. Now let's stop sharing there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back out. We can also do the chat feature all right here. If uh, you have all the audience muted, you can go ahead and they can raise their hand using this button. You'd see your participants and even add participants. You can also record this as it goes along by using this button. And then finally on the right hand side, you have your options. This is where you select what you're doing. I have a uh, Logitech Brio over here, just a regular old webcam. And then I also have a microphone plugged in. You don't really want to use your webcam audio if you can help it. I always recommend a dedicated mic, but it just depends on you. If my webcam's all you got, you can always just select whichever one you want, and then obviously speakers, uh, what is actually playing out of uh, when pe other people speak or present. And then it depends if you're on your cell phone and then all of a sudden your speaker's like buffering a whole bunch or you're not able to do it or you don't have good signal quality, you can actually take this meeting quality down and put it on stable. This is gonna uh, reduce how much bandwidth you need to actually play properly. And that is 3CX uh, video conferencing in a nutshell.